In this video, I'm just going to give a quick overview of how to use Note Shelf 2 on the iPad Pro. So first, we're just going to go ahead and open up Note Shelf 2. And the first thing you can see is when I open it up, you're greeted with a pretty inviting interface. You know, it's really clean and minimalist. And it's, you'll see as I go over the features, it's actually really easy and intuitive to use. So at the top here, you can see that we have a category called My Notes. And if you want to create a new category, you can just add one here. We'll call it Sample. And now I have a new category where I can put all my new notebooks. So this is really useful if you want to create different subjects if you're in school. So if you have a bio category or a chemistry category, and then within that category, you can have all your different notebooks for that class. So let's create a new notebook here by clicking on the plus button, then click new notebook. But before we do that, I just want to also point out that you can import like a PDF or some other document into your category. It'll create its own notebook for you. And you can even scan a document, which is pretty unique, I think, to Note Shelf. So let's go ahead and finally create our notebook. So we'll click new notebook here. And what's nice here is that you can choose all the different covers you want for your notebook and you can choose the paper, template, and orientation. So let's go ahead and change the cover. What I like to choose are the very simple ones or the ones that are transparent. I think they look really nice. And if you want to get more covers and paper templates, you can join Note Shelf Club. But let's go ahead and choose a cover from my favorite type of covers, which is the transparent ones. And I like these because basically it'll give a little preview of your document over here. And then you also have a color which will set apart your notebook from all your other notebooks. So let's just go ahead and choose this turquoise looking color. And then we can also change our paper. So you can make it plain paper or go through some of the basic ones like ruled, checked, legal, whatever. The one thing I will say about this is that the ruled paper only comes in one set of ruled. So it's, I don't know if it's college ruled or wide ruled. It feels more college ruled than wide ruled. You can't make the spacing between the lines bigger or smaller. But it is pretty comfortable, so we can go ahead and choose that one. Now, you will notice that I am in landscape mode right now, and Note Shelf 2 doesn't support vertical scrolling like Notability. It uses horizontal scrolling, so it's going to be a lot more similar to something like GoodNotes 4. So what you want to do if you're in landscape mode is you're going to want to change your uh, orientation to a landscape orientation. So you can just see here, Note Shelf makes it really easy for you to do that. You just choose portrait on the left or landscape on the right. And the good thing about Note Shelf 2 is, and I'll get into this a little bit later also, is that you can actually change each individual page, the template and the orientation, which is something that you can also do in GoodNotes 4, but you can't do that in Notability. So let's call this notebook sample as well, and let's create it. And as you can see here, now I have my paper in landscape mode. It fills the whole screen and it looks really nice. And Note Shelf 2, like most note-taking apps that you may be familiar with, has pretty standard ink features and highlighter features and eraser features. So if you click on the pen here, you can see you can choose between four different types of pens. You can choose a ballpoint, a fountain, and then you have this pen. I don't know what this pen is called. And then you have a pencil. So I usually use this pen, the one I don't actually know what it's called, but I use it a lot. I think it's the best one and you can just go ahead and start writing. Now I actually like how the fountain pen looks the best, but I don't know if you guys can tell or not, but for me, I'm really picky when it comes to lag and writing digitally, and I feel like for some reason with the fountain pen, there's a little bit more lag. In Note Shelf in general, I find that when I'm writing, that it's not as quick as when I'm writing in other apps like GoodNotes and Notability. It has gotten a little bit better. When it was first released, Note Shelf 2, it was pretty bad. I do notice it a little bit less, but it's still pretty noticeable, noticeable to me. Now, I have asked other people and they have not noticed it, so it could just be something that I'm super picky about, but that's just something to keep in mind if you are planning on purchasing Note Shelf 2. But all the pen options really are pretty decent. Except for the pencil, in my opinion, you can't really write with the pencil. I can give you an example. So they really tried to make the pencil as pencil-y as possible. So it's nice for if you're shading, I guess, or if you're going to be doing some coloring with the pencil. But you really won't be writing with the pencil, I don't think. It just doesn't look that great to me. 
Now, if I want to erase, you can see there's an eraser button right here. And the really cool thing about the eraser on Note Shelf 2 is that it's actually an auto eraser. Basically, what that means is that it kind of detects how zoomed in you are in the page. So if I zoom in here, it'll make the eraser smaller so that it doesn't basically just erase the whole this whole area because I'm zoomed in. Note Shelf 2 takes into account how zoom how if you're zooming in or not into the page and it makes the eraser smaller so you can really erase some of the smaller details like that dot right there. Now again, so if I was zoomed out and I wanted to erase the dot on the eye, it would erase a whole lot more. But as soon as I zoom in, I can just more easily erase that. And that's one of the greatest features, I think. It doesn't erase the whole text. It erases basically whatever you erase. So if you draw a line and then you put the eraser on there, the whole line won't go away. It'll just erase whatever you literally put your pencil over. So here you have all your different eraser options and you do have a clear page option, which is pretty nice if you just want to clear all the annotations off your page. So Notchop 2 has plenty of colors that you can choose from. You can edit to make your own colors right here. You can really do a whole bunch, way more customization than I would personally ever need. But you can have all these different palettes, you can search for them. You know, if you really want to get artistic with it, you can. And then you can also customize your different thicknesses and you can have favorite preferences if you really like a certain customization. Now there's also a highlighter feature here, which again is pretty standard. You can choose how big you want your chisel to be, what color you want your highlighter to be. And I actually really like the colors that Note Shelf 2 offers. I think they're really nice. So if I'm writing here with the fountain pen, and then I want to highlight it, I can just click on the highlighter here and highlight right over it. And it does, I think, I think Note Shelf 2's highlighter out of the note taking apps I've tested is the best highlighter because it just looks like the most how you would want highlighted stuff to look. It's not too bright, but it doesn't like become all faded like Notabilities. And Note Shelf 2 also lets you highlight things multiple times just like as, as if it were a real highlighter. And Note Shelf 2 also allows you to change what type of highlighter you use. So you can use a chisel tip or this regular circle tip. So I think that's a great feature that Note Shelf 2 offers. And of course, if you want to add text, you can create a text box. So if you just tap anywhere, you won't create a text box. You actually have to double tap and then you get your text box and then you can start typing something. And then here you can change what you want the text to look like. If you want it to be header one, header two, header three, you can change your alignment, which is obviously a really good feature. And then you can go over here and change literally everything you want about your text, the font, the size, bold, italics, and you can choose your four favorites here. And I believe that you can customize the favorites here. Yes, if you just hold it down, you can remove a favorite, you can rename it. So again, if you do want to create your own type of favorite custom text, all you have to do is go to this paintbrush here, choose whatever you want, and then you can heart it or unheart it. So now it says added in your favorites. And if I create it to 22, I can heart that one too. Now I have five favorites. Then this classic no pen option, if you don't want to make any stray marks, on accident, you can just use your finger and you won't be able to edit anything. It's literally just swiping back and forth. So if you do want to create a new page, you can do it pretty easily by just swiping to the left or to the right. And you can always check your pages down here. It says one of three. Now there are also some other features that I really love about Note Shelf 2. So one of those is ink to shape. So if I click this button here, if I draw a shape, Note Shelf 2 will convert it into a nicer looking shape. Then of course, you can also have this zoom feature, which is also a pretty common feature you see in note taking apps. Then if you want to look at all your thumbnails, you can easily bookmark a page by clicking on the little bookmark in the corner. And then if you click on your bookmarks, you can see which ones are there. So Note Shelf 2 does recognize handwriting and I search for the word write. Uh, you can see that it pulled it up and highlighted it for me. So it recognizes your handwriting, which is really cool. So if you want your handwriting to convert to text, what you can do is you can lasso it here and then click on it once and you have all these different options. You click convert to text, it converts it to text, you convert to a text box, and there you go. Some other things I don't think I mentioned here is you can actually share your page. So you can select pages to share or select all the pages in your notebook and then you can export it via email, you know, a whole bunch of different options. But if you do email it, so if I email it here, you can choose the format, which is pretty standard. 
Most people should choose PDF. You can change if you want to have the page background or not. You can change the file name. So within this notebook, if I want to import a document, I can just click this plus button here and import document. And you can also add photos, a new page, a new page from template. So this is where I was saying where you can change the orientation. So if I want to make my new page look like this, now I have this portrait orientation within the same notebook. And if you want, you can also add audio. So you can do an audio recording here. You can even add emojis. And then you can bookmark this page, like I said. And what's really neat is I forgot about this. You can actually change the color of your bookmark and title what you want your bookmark to be called. Now, real quick, I just want to run through some of the settings. If you go on the settings here, you can change all your different themes here. You can show date modified, writing style. You can even use it as a whiteboard mode, so I've never used this either, but if you have an external display plugged in, you can use the Note Shelf app on your iPad as a whiteboard. You can choose the stylus. You can choose if you want pressure sensitivity on or off, and then you have all your notebook options for your default page templates, text styles, if you want auto backup on or not. So that's gonna wrap it up. I really hope this overview was useful and I will see you in the next one.